What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video and by popular demand, we talking about the new Kobe's. In the year of 2024, there are truly a lot of Kobe's that are on the way, some old, some new. Let me know what you guys think. We're gonna go through all of them. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Without further ado, let's get into these Kobe's, you dig? But first, let's go ahead and talk about the Kobe 6 Pro Troll Reverse Grinch, which set the world on fire December 15th, 2023, for a retail price of 180 bucks. As you may know, this was a shoe that dropped during the holiday season of 2023. We saw PJ Tucker and Anthony Davis wear them a long time before we were able to get our hands on them. But now they are available to the public, but the resale price is kind of crazy. These came in bright crimson, black, and electric green as the color scheme. Of course, the reverse of the original colorway. Let me know what you guys think about the Kobe Grinch's overall and did you add these to your collection or are you still out there searching for a pair? Following the reverse Grinch, we had the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Aqua drop February 8th for a retail price of 190 bucks. A lot of people were going crazy for this. They dropped with two colorways. The next one we'll talk about in just a second. But then you also had a lot of merch that came out for Mamba Day. Very exciting time out here in LA and I'm sure everywhere else. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this white and emerald green color combination on the Kobe. As you see, they came with a white base with with radiant emerald as the accents. You have the eight and 24 all over the upper, which I think was really dope. You also can see the emerald green on the swoosh logos, laces, Kobe's signature on the white heel counter. Very cool shoe, also semi-translucent also as well. Let me know what you guys think about the emerald green Kobe. Next up, also on February 8th, they had the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Court Purple, very similar to the radiant emerald we just spoke about. But instead of the emerald green, these came in court purple. I like the color combination on this one also. Of the two colorways, which one are you more of a fan of? I think I would lean towards the court purple in my opinion, but both of these shoes are classic. They came out on Kobe Day 2024 with some merch. They had shirts, sweaters, hoodies, and even a leather letterman jacket that retailed at 824 bucks. Let me know if you added any of that to your collection. Next up, dropping in February for a retail price of 190 bucks, we got the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro BHM, AKA Black History Month. These come in white and metallic gold as the color scheme. In 2011, Nike Basketball unveiled the Kobe 6 BHM to celebrate Black History Month's 25th anniversary. In 2024, Nike will be launching this white and metallic gold color scheme in honor of Black History Month 2024. However, this iteration, as we can see, is a different color scheme. This one comes in white and metallic gold, which was different from the original one that had the black base. Let me know if you guys are more of a fan of the original colorway or you guys excited for this current one. Then later in August on the 23rd, we got the Kobe 8 Pro Tro EM Halo. Now this one is a triple white Kobe. I know a lot of people will be trying to get their hands on these. What do you guys think about it? In August of 2023, Nike Basketball alongside Vanessa Bryan unveiled the Kobe Halo Collection, which the debut showcased the Kobe 8 Pro Tro. Looking ahead to August 2024, the Nike Kobe 9 Pro Tro EM Halo is set to honor Kobe's birthday. And similar to the previous release, the Nike Kobe 9 has the triple white colorway, which is crafted with Nike's Flyknit materials and the fly wire to secure the fit and Nike Lunar Lawn for superb cushioning. Other details include the midsole that has the carbon fiber for extra stability. And then of course you have that white rubber outsole. Give me your thoughts and opinions about this Kobe Halo. Also dropping in August on the 23rd is the Nike Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro Halo. This marks the Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro's 10th anniversary and is a new addition to the Halo series, which also celebrates Kobe's birthday. And like the previous release, as you can see, they come with a triple white design crafted with Nike's Flyknit materials and fly wire as well. And then they have that Lunar Lawn midsole for extra cushioning. I'm a big fan of the Kobe 9 Elite. I used to own two pair of the BHM colorway. Truly one of the best Kobe's in my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree with that. We also have another Kobe Elite that we will talk about a little later in this video, so stay tuned for that. Next up, let's talk about some of the casual Kobe's that we'll be dropping in 2024, starting off with the Nike SB Kobe, which has no official release date or even month, but they will be dropping sometime this year. Let me know if this is something you guys are excited for. In 2011, Kobe Bryant and Eric Costin joined forces for a limited edition of the Nike SB Kobe Costin collaboration, which were limited to only 24 pair, which is insane. 
Fast forward to this year, 2024, Nike has hinted at Kobe's association with Nike SB, which makes people feel like these shoes are coming back. With no official word, we're not sure if it's gonna be a re-release of a Kobe shoe or will there be a fourth shoe coming out? That's something we have to wait for. Give me your thoughts and opinions about the previous Kobe model with SB and are you looking forward to this? With no official details, it's said that the collaboration might introduce skate shoe elements such as a drop-in sole, robust rubbers, and padded tongue. Let me know if you guys are excited about this. I can't wait to see what they have coming out. Next up dropping during the summer of 2024, we got the Kobe Bryant Nike Air Force One. Now we've seen leaked images of these for a while and people have been excited for them. They're coming in white, varsity maize, and varsity purple as the color scheme with a retail price point that is to be determined. Now, you know, Vanessa Bryant and the Kobe Estate signed that contract with Nike in 2022, which made a lot of people happy because now we get a lot more different shoes from Kobe, not just the basketball shoes, but his casual shoes as well. One of her requests when she re-signed with Nike based on Kobe's estate was that she wanted more shoes to be available in kid sizing, and that is including with this Air Force One here. These don't come out to the summer, and I know a lot of people will try to scoop them up. Once we get an official release date and retail price point, I definitely will let you guys know. Give me your thoughts on these in the comments. Now, getting back over to the basketball shoes, in August on the 5th, for a retail price of 190 bucks, we got the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Gold Medal, truly one of my favorite Kobe Bryant shoes of all time. These will be dropping actually at the perfect time of the year as the Olympic basketball is set to return during the summer of 2024 in Paris, France. The games will run through July 27th through August 11th. To celebrate, Nike will be bringing back the Kobe 4 Gold Medal, which is truly a fan favorite. If you did not know, the Nike Kobe 4 Gold Medal originally dropped in July of 2009. They come in white, dark obsidian, varsity red, and metallic gold as the color scheme. Just like the 2009 version, the metallic gold on the toe box and heel features the snakeskin texture. The dark obsidian decorates the swooshes, liner, mesh tongues, and then you have the gold Kobe shield. I'm a big fan of this shoe. Didn't grab it when they dropped in 2009. Hopefully I can grab them in 2024, but I know it's gonna be crazy out there. Let me know if you guys are adding these to your collection. Next up, believe it or not, we got something to look forward to when it comes to Kobe's during the holiday season. These will retail for 180 bucks. We got the Nike Kobe 9 Pro Show EM. Yep, Nike Basketball will be expanding its gift from Mamba series with the Kobe 9 Pro Show EM, showcasing a striking black and metallic gold color scheme. Of course, following the success of the Kobe 4 Pro Show that dropped in 2023, this release presents fans with another cherished design. Of course, the sleek aesthetics, the all black upper with the gold accents is definitely something that will be eye-catching give me your thoughts about these specs and this colorway is this something you're excited for i know a lot of you guys will be adding this to your collection and as for the specs they're all the same all black upper with engineered mesh then of course you got kobe's signature on the tpu hill counter on the lateral side gold accents let me know what you guys think. And as I mentioned a little earlier, we got another Kobe 9 Elite Pro Pro. This is the Christmas edition, dropping also during the holiday season in December for a retail price of 240 bucks. By far one of the best Kobe 9 Elites in my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree. And as I mentioned earlier, this celebrates the 10th anniversary of the Kobe 9 Elite Pro Pro Christmas, which is definitely a classic. Now these originally dropped December 26, 2014, when some of the Lakers players were wearing them against the Chicago Bulls on Christmas day. And even even though Kobe didn't wear them himself, it still left a lasting impression, which is why they're bringing them back to represent the 10 year milestone of the sneaker. From my opinion, I do feel like the Kobe 9 Elite is an acquired taste and not a fan favorite, but if you like the Kobe 9s, this is probably one of your favorite colorways. Let me know if you guys are gonna be adding this one to your collection. Next up, we got another Kobe dropping earlier in the year around April on the 13th for a retail price of 190 bucks, the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Pro Italian Camo. This Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Italian Camel originally launched in 2011 and is returning in the summer of 2024. This shoe pays tribute to Italy's basketball legacy, Kobe Bryant and Kobe's dad, Joe Bryant, who played pro basketball in Italy as well. This Nike Kobe 6 has a camouflage pattern upper inspired by Italy's diverse landscape, vineyards, mountains, and coastlines. Of course, the color palette combines black, khaki, and olive. 
Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway and how much do you guys want to add it to your collection. I'm really a fan of how that crimson red really pops on this shoe as well. You see it on the Nike swoosh and on the Kobe logos as well as his signature. These are pretty fire. Next up, we got a very exciting Kobe. This is the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Venice Beach dropping April 13th for a retail price of 190 bucks. Very eye-catching, very sought after. I'm a big fan of this shoe. I love the color combination. Originally released in 2013 as part of Kobe Bryant's signature line. The Venice Beach was a standout by far and it's very limited as well. This very vibrant colorway represents the Venice Beach atmosphere known for skateboarding and street ball. A lot of hoopers out there. It comes in a mix of red, blue, yellow, and green. Now this Venice Beach colorway is indeed one of the more popular Kobe's. I'm sure a lot of people will be trying to get their hands on them. So if you're looking to add these to your collection, do your due diligence, check a few stores, check all the apps that you can, cause these will be hard to get. Let me know if you guys like this colorway in the comments below. Next up on April 13th for a retail price of 190 bucks, we got the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Philly. I'm a big fan of this colorway. I think these are fire. This shoe here represents Kobe Bryant's legacy being born in Philadelphia. Hence is why this is called the Philly colorway. This Nike 4 Kobe Pro Tro is truly one of a kind. This Kobe 4 Pro Tro, which originally dropped in 2009, returns in 2024 in that varsity red, white, and university red color scheme. The upper showcases the variety of blue shades adding the three and reflective stars on the ankle for a striking touch, which really make the shoe pop. Of course, you got Kobe's logo on center stage on the tongue, as well as his signature on the heel cup. This is truly a 10 out of 10 colorway for me. Let me know if this is a colorway that you will be adding to your collection. Next up on May 31st for a retail price of 190 bucks, we got the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Girl Dad coming in bi-coastal black and metallic silver as the color scheme. This is definitely a solid colorway. As you can see in this video, Nike Basketball is bringing back some new colorways of the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro, which is exciting. And this bi-coastal one is truly fire. This shoe features a breathable green suede base with toe box perforations for of course breathability you have black swooshes laces and sock liner and in my opinion adding to the mystique of the shoe you got the metallic silver heel counter featuring Kobe's signature in the bi-coastal color, perfectly matching the foam midsole and air zoom cushioning. This design is rounded off with the girl dad embroidery on the inner tongues. And of course you have that translucent outsole, which I'm a fan of as well. Truly one of the better Kobe's to come out in 2024. Let me know what you guys think. Next up, I want to talk about the Nike Kobe A Pro Tro Mambasita dropping May 1st for a retail price of 190 bucks. These come in white, metallic gold, and black as the color scheme. Yep, in the summer of 2024, Nike's bringing back the Mambasita, of course paying homage to Gigi, Kobe's daughter. This Kobe has a white base with black detailing as you can see the black butterflies all over the shoe. Then you have black accents that are on the laces, inner lining, and midsole, while you have a metallic gold swoosh that really adds a pop and makes it a little bit more regal. And of course, you got Gigi's number two on the heels of the shoe as well. Let me know if you guys are excited about the Mambasita. I know a lot of people like this one and this is a very popular colorway. Next up, we have a little confusion, but then again, no, we don't. Now we talked about an Air Force One Kobe earlier in the video, but now we have another one that represents some of the Air Force Ones he actually wore back in the day. Now this Kobe Bryant Air Force One low is inspired by the 2002-2003 Air Force One mid PE that he wore. Now this special edition Air Force One low showcases the Laker colorways. It pays homage to the exclusive home pair that he wore in 2002-2003. These will feature a white leather upper with yellow swoosh logos with purple accents surrounding the swoosh to give more of that Laker spirit. And as I said, these will be dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 145 bucks. What do you guys think about the Air Force One Kobe? So as you guys can see, 2024, the year of the Mamba 24, there are truly a lot of releases to come and I'm sure there will be more announced later in the year. Let me know what you guys think about everything we talked about in this video and what are you guys looking most forward to. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. But now I wanna get into some shoes that we will never see the light of day. We got some PEs that Vanessa Bryant has been showing off. Plus we got some universities with some really dope colorways. I just wanna give my opinions on them and let me know what you guys think in the comments. First, I want to start off with these iconic Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Wifeys, which is representing Valentine's Day. 
Vanessa Bryan showed these off on Instagram not too long ago, and these are ridiculous. These are all red with stitched in hearts all over the upper. This is truly fire, and it would be dope if these came out sometime down the line for Valentine's Day. I think these are a 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. On that same day, she also posted the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Pink PE for Valentine's Day 2024. Of course, these did not release to us. This was a player exclusive or Vanessa exclusive colorway, which was truly mind blowing. I like that color tone of pink with the white, white laces. You can't really go wrong with this. Now this PE was pretty dope because it had a leather tumbled upper with preparations, of course, for breathability. You have the mesh tongue as well. Pink base with white that details on the Kobe tongue logos, swooshes, laces. And then the sides, also the heel counter. I like the pink with the white accents. Very clean colorway right here. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Next, we got the Kobe 8 Pro Tro Duke PE, which was truly fire. There's like two or three colorways of this shoe, actually two, the blue base and then the white base. Both of them are excellent. I'm a Duke fan, plus I love that color combination. These are definitely on point. I think if I had to choose out of the white pair or the blue pair, by far, I would go with the blue ones. But let me know what you guys think about these PEs in the comment section below. Of course, Kobe blessed Duke, Yukon, Villanova, Perfect. Oregon, USC and I think one other school with some Kobe PEs and we're seeing the players wear them and they look ridiculous on court. Here's a quick look at the Yukon colorway. It would be dope if somehow, some way these shoes could be available to the public. People would eat these up. There would be a lot more Kobe's for people to grab, but that's also the benefits of being a athlete or professional athlete. When you play for a D1 college, you get exclusive things like this. This navy blue, red and white color combination with the Husky on the tongue is one of a kind, truly one of the top PEs for colleges in my opinion. Next, I wanna talk about the USC colorway. There's three of them actually, this black one, which is pretty unique. Then you have the white one, which is solid. Then you have the maroon one, the maroon base. Rich is clean as well with the yellow accents. I think that one and the black one might be my favorite too. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the USC. Ranking them from a one to 10 or either least to favorite. I think the USC might be my third favorite of the PEs. It has to be Duke. Yukon, a couple of the organs, then maybe USC. Let me know how you guys rank those up as we're looking at the Oregon Duck PEs right now. Oregon was one of the schools that got four different colorways. Of course, Oregon being the home of Nike, the green colorway or the green base might be my favorite out of that. But let me know what you guys think about all of these PEs.